Hey guys, this is Jagan signing up from Tech Tutor. In this video podcast, let's discuss about using Maven to compile a simple C or C++ based projects. So usually Maven is used to compile Java based projects. But uh, in this case, I would like to use Maven to compile C++ based projects. So for one of the consulting work that I was doing, I was looking for a simple solution to build C++ projects using Maven. But unfortunately, I couldn't find even a simple example that describes how Maven can be used to compile C++ projects. There were several uh, portals, uh, several blogs, which explains that NAR plugin can be used to build C++ C++ based projects. But uh, not uh, even one single portal explains with code example how you can achieve the same using those plugins. So I came up with this alternate approach. It's not something that I invented. This was already there, but I mean, it was not well documented. So the approach that I have taken is a very simple approach, which uh, any C, C++ folks will be very comfortable with. Okay, let me explain that. So I would like to use uh, slides. Normally I don't use any slides. However, I thought there are many things to explain. So I thought I will uh, do it organized uh, fashion. So Maven is a build tool normally used by Java folks. We already discussed that. And Maven Antrun is a plugin which is used to build any Ant based projects from Maven. But the way I'm going to use Maven Antrun is to invoke makefile from within maven pom file okay pom pom file is a project object model i mean basically a script configuration file which drives maven to build any kind of project maven is a completely flexible configurable tool which can be extended by plugins to compile any kind of project not necessarily restricted to java based projects and of course make file is the typical project build script file to compile C or C++ based projects. <coughs> so in high level, so uh, we will be using Maven build tool and Maven uh, uses a particular file called pom, pom.xml file which drives the build whole build. Okay. So the approach that we have taken here, I have taken here is basically the pom file will invoke build.xml which is an ant project configuration file, build configuration file. So uh, the approach is basically once you are able to compile your C++ project or C based project with make file, you can always invoke the same from ant. Okay. Even from the command line, the moment you are able to do that, you can always integrate that pom the same build.xml file with the pom.xml file. <clears throat> so that's the approach I've basically taken. So, uh, I mean, uh, when you when you compile your project using Maven compile, the pom.xml file is uh, configured or written in such a way that it all, it will automatically call the builder.xml during this phase, okay? Which in turn executes the make file. So that automatically creates the binaries in the target bin folder. And if you issue Maven test, it will also compile this. It will also do all this. Plus, it will also execute the test build.xml which in turn is going to call the make file kept under source test C++. Basically this particular make file will compile your unit tester project and this particular make file will compile the production your main product. Okay and uh, the make file is also written in such a way that it will automatically call the I mean the executed binary simple. Okay because that is a part of your uh, uh, unit test framework basically. So you don't have to do anything specific in the make file, but when you compile it automatically, the test runner, which comes part of your CPP unit will execute that. So this is similar to your J unit or X unit framework. And if you issue Maven clean, this is similar to your make clean. So Maven will delete the target folder. So that's the reason I have kept the target bin and target test bin under this so that when this folder is deleted, automatically all our binaries are deleted. That's it. Okay. 
So, and the structure, project structure recommended is this. And it is not mandatory that uh, this solution, for this solution, you have to follow this. However, this is the Maven way or the Maven recommended structure. Normally, this is the same structure used by Java projects, except that instead of C++ here, you will have a Java and then uh, you will have all the Java files over here. Okay. So, in the project root folder, you will have this pom.xml file and you will have two folders. One is source and the other is the target. Source folder will have both your uh, main project as well as the test project. And the main project will follow a structure called main. Followed by that, you will have a subdirectory called C++ and all your source files goes here. In fact, if you would like to keep, include INC and SRC inside, that is left to you. Maybe in that case, you have to slightly tweak this make file. Okay, so this make file will be able to compile this project. That's it. And the unit tester is separated so that you can keep your uh, production code separate and uh, test cases separate. That's the idea. So the test folder will have C++ and then all the unit test related files, source files will go here. And this make file will be able to compile this unit tester project. Simple. And uh, this is these two are basically ant build scripts. This particular build.xml file is written to invoke this make file, which will eventually compile the main product. And this particular test build configuration file is designed in such a way it will invoke this particular make file kept under this folder, okay, which in turn will compile the test binaries as simple as that. And Maven compile or test will automatically create this target folder. And I have returned these two make files in such a way all the binaries are created in bin and test bin folder. Basically, the bin will have the production binaries and test bin will have the test binaries, test case binaries. <coughs> Maven POM file skeleton looks like this. Basically, every Maven based project will have this POM dot file and you will have a project tag and model version is the super POM version and here goes your project and group ID, artifact ID and version. These are the three Maven coordinates used to uniquely identify your project or any particular component or plugin in Maven. Okay. So usually in your group ID, you can mention your company specific string. So for instance, if I have to give an example, I would say org.tutor for to represent my company. You can actually represent something com dot your company, whatever it is. And artifact ID is the uh, ID which explains, which uniquely identifies your project or component or plugin. Okay. And this version is nothing but your project or component version. And uh, the build procedure goes here. Usually for building any particular project, there'll be a couple of uh, one or more plugins, uh, which we will uh, explain in this uh, section, which will basically guide Maven to build that particular project. Okay. And this is a POM snippet, which is responsible to create this target bin and target test bin folders. Okay. This gets executed in this process sources life space of your Maven. And uh, when you issue Maven compile or Maven clean compile, so this particular section will get executed. So basically what uh, happens is, I mean, uh, this is going to invoke the ant build.xml file kept in this folder. Okay. And when you issue maven test or maven clean test, this particular section will invoke the test build.xml file. <coughs> so this is the uh, ant build.xml. Uh, which compiles your main production code. Okay. And if you look at this, this is the path of your make utility and this is the path of your make file source main C++ under this, I have kept a make file. And uh, if you issue make, it will look for that make file under this project and under this project directory on the same line, if you issue Maven test or Maven clean test, it is going to this particular make utility is going to look for a make file under this source test C++ directory. 
and that will trigger the make file. Eventually it compiles the test project. And this is how your uh, make file looks and this is a very simple make file. Uh, compiles a hello world kind of application. So basically I have written a calc calculator which simply has one simple add function. Okay, so this is this indicates your uh, C++ compiler. These are your C++ uh, C flags. I mean basically this enables all the warnings and this compiles the project in debug mode. Here goes all your include path and uh, here you all your linker paths, library paths goes here and then here whatever libraries or dot so shared objects you would like to link you will have to list out here and these are your uh, source files and uh, this is the rule which explains how to create a dot o files object files from cpp files and this is the target directory and obj basically i would like to create all the uh, dot o files under this folder so i'm using this particular make file or like customized variable make variable right and uh, this is our uh, main binary and i'm using some phony targets all that so all when you say make uh, all or make clean all uh, basically the final target is that this particular binary has to be created in order to create this target it depends on the obj's and how to create the obj's so we have defined a rule here eventually this would be invoked so for each and every dot cpp file it will create a dot of file using this command okay so once this is done you will have all the obj's eventually it can compile the target file by linking the respective libraries all that okay and uh, this is the make file which compiles your unit test project so basically this particular make file looks similar to the production make file except that here it also has the include path for the cpp unit okay and it also has it i'm also trying to link the cpp unit dot so that's it pretty much otherwise this also looks similar to your production this one so basically you can write uh, your own make file okay so when you issue the make compile maven compile this is the output you can expect okay if you notice it interestingly invokes the make file right normally used by java folks and uh, if you issue the maven test or maven clean test this is the output you get so once all the projects are compiled basically it's going to trigger the unit test pro project <coughs> unit test project sorry and if you issue a maven clean it would um, basically clean up this uh, folder so basically this folder will get uh, deleted so under this folder we have created a bin for production binaries and a test bin for test binaries right so automatically all our binaries will be deleted so basically we are using maven clean so that when maven clean happens it also cleans up our project that's it okay so if you have any queries you can always reach me out here however i may not respond immediately but definitely i will respond to your queries and if you uh, like this video you can always uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and of course i would like to show a short demo okay so i have this uh, folder here so this is i have called it as uh, i mean i would like to call it as calculator basically the pom.xml file is kept here and all the sections are separately explained in that slides if you have watched my video okay and uh, i have this source folder here so which has the build xml which has this build xml file so basically when the build xml file make is invoked so it is going to look for source main c++ under that it will look for a make file okay let's see if uh, main has yeah so as uh, described in the slides i mean i have created a main c++ and then here all your c++ file source fold source files goes here and uh, our main file looks like this simple so now let's see how our test looks like okay so it also follows similar folder structure and uh, here goes your 
test make file. So basically you should be able to make your file, you should be able to create uh, make from here as well. So basically I have written uh, the make file in such a way that it creates in the, I mean I've, I've used a relative path, that's the reason it is failing. Okay. Okay, so now let me compile this project. So right now we don't have any uh, target folder. So let me do a maven compile. So if you notice it has compiled this particular project and all the binaries are kept under target bin. Let's see, yeah, right now we have, we see this target folder, which was earlier not there. And you can notice that there are two folders here and then here is our calci. Okay. And let's see what is there in the test bin. Test bin doesn't have anything because the Maven compile will not compile the test binaries. This is as expected, right? So now let me do a Maven clean. So this will delete the target folder. Yeah, it has deleted. Now let's do a Maven test. Now, if you notice, first it has compiled the main production project Calci, and it also has compiled the Calci test, which is our unit tester. And followed by that, it also has executed this CPP unit test cases, right? So now let's check what are the binaries we have got. Okay, so now our unit tester is created here and we are able to run that, right? At the same time, even the binaries should be there, right? The production binaries, yes. As expected, it's also there. That's it. Okay. Yes. So this is the way you can actually create a, uh, you can use uh, Maven to compile your C, C++ based project. Though I'm using CPP unit for this demonstration, you can use any kind of unit test framework that works for your project. Okay. So that way the same procedure can be followed to integrate any kind of unit test projects in your C or C++ based projects. Thank you. And if you like this video, I mean, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified for, for more such videos. Thank you.